Uh, straight at this one. Yeah. All right. Three, two. Back here at Daytona 500 Media Day with the 2018 Daytona 500 champion, Austin Dillon. Welcome back to Daytona. I know it's one of your favorite places. Are you excited to get the season going? Always. You know, anytime we come through the tunnel here at Daytona, it's just one of those places that pumps you up, you know. Uh, every time you get a 500 start, uh, it feels, you know, amazing, and I cherish those because mm -hmm. you never know what when your last might be. So right. um, it's an opportunity to win the biggest race of the year. Something that's going to be different for us, and we're all adjusting to. This has been a big question mark with every driver I've asked, this next-gen car. Lucky for us, we've had some testing. We had practice yesterday, but what's it going to be like in these cars? Well, I, I think it's still going to be speedway racing, obviously. Uh, the one thing that is different for us right now that just, you know, unknown is in years past when I go to the duel, I know that if I wreck my car, I've probably got a bullet in in the back of the trailer. <laughs> Another three. I don't, I don't have those uh, available. Um, there's not just not a lot of cars right now, so we're trying to take it easy, get to the 500 with this car. Uh, that's our bullet for the week, and, and we'd love to have that situation going in the 500, that we got the same car that we have right now. We know that it's about surviving and advancing, but it, it really has been a manufacturer battle as of in the last, what, three or four years. The Chevys always work really well together. Those bow ties tend to find each other on track. Is it going to be the same now that we have this next gen? Yeah, I hope so. You know, we've had good meetings leading up to this about how we want to work together as a group. And about the new Camaro, right? Yes. <laughs> the uh, secret meeting. <laughs> yeah, we've we've done the best we could as a group. I think leading up to this point, and Chevrolet's put a lot uh, together uh, as a manufacturer to give us, you know, the best advantage we can when we get here. And um, it's so hard, speedway racing, because you want to work with your teammates as best you can, but you know you might have a run that you can take, but you can't. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're the last Chevy to win a Daytona 500, so that's pretty the last active driver that's a Chevy driver. So we need to continue that streak this weekend at the 500. Yeah, you've had some really strong uh, Daytona 500 runs. You finished third here last season, but getting to that P1 spot I know is something you're hoping to repeat, but have you thought about what it would mean to win two? Oh, it's, it's so special to, you know, compete in this race let alone win it so uh to win two i uh, i don't know it'd be as good as the first one i know another that another tattoo oh for sure <laughs> you you could find me at a tattoo parlor sunday night late uh we'll take the crowd with us yeah of course uh well i know the momentum is high over at rcr you guys had a really strong 2021 season and the end of the season especially there was like a fire lit under that three camp can that carry over now with so many unknowns and and new variables this season yeah, I think so. Tyler and I are really starting to work well together. I think that um, we've kind of figured out each other's role um, to help each other and respect each other. And um, so for me, it's, you know, he's the best teammate I've had at this point, I feel like, uh, to work with. And he pushes me. Um, he's a hard worker. There's a lot of good things that Tyler brings to the table and, and that eight group. And hopefully that elevates us fast because we're going to have to learn faster than these other guys mm -hmm. in this next gen car. We're all at a kind of level playing field and the people that put in that effort and figure it out fastest will be rewarded expectations for you in the three well i mean we want to win a championship that's what i do this for you know i want to win a championship i said you know i want to like win and compete for a championship but this year i'm having crazy faith i'm putting it all on the lord and just saying hey we want you know a championship we want to win races obviously but championships what the ultimate goal is got the flow going strong but he's already a winner off of the racetrack you have two of my favorite people that you get to go home to every single day. Uh, the new addition, is he a year old? We're a year old now. Yeah, yeah, we're almost two. We're getting uh, June 14th. Almost two. Yeah. yeah. Almost two. Wow, we're like we're 18. old, AD. Yeah. We're getting old. Uh, Whitney and Ace, uh, Whitney, his wife, and Ace, his, his new baby boy. I can't call him new anymore now. <laughs> almost a two-year-old. How's it been? It's dad, good, dad, yeah. Dad care is different. It is. It's different. Uh, he's here. He already hit his head once, so we had a crash this morning. Typical Dylan. We're getting our crashes. <laughs> yes, that is true. Getting our crashes out early here. Um, he's got a little bump on his noggin, but oh. he made it through it. He's probably at the playground. Uh, we're going to get him in a in a race car here soon? Whenever he's ready, whatever he wants to do, I'll support him. You know, I'm going to hold, give him as many golf clubs as possible. Yeah, he, swings, I, uh, he swings golf club pretty good right now. That's, that's the safe sport. Give him, give him the golf club. All right, Austin Dillon going after his second Daytona 500 trophy, hoping to get it done this Sunday.